Okay, a very good evening. Let's begin with the first project idea that you can do from home. This idea is for flower preservation, the cut flowers that you use at home to decorate your home. This is what we will be doing now. Okay. I hope this screen is visible to each one of you. Now moving forward. The first, this is the first project, which is the one which we will be doing at home. The aim of the project is cut flower preservation for extended vase life. Right? The requirements are a flower vase. The flower vase, please see that it is not transparent. The reason is sunlight affects your um, wilting of the flower and bacterial growth, growth in the flower pot. The flower stalks that you can take from the florist could be tuberoses, roses or gladiolus. At least take around seven of them. You will require fresh water. That should not be a problem. Sugar. Now, sugar is required as an energy provider. So you will need sugar for your project. As an acidifier, you require some acid. Sorry, also acetic acid, ho, vinegar or sirka. Ho. Even if that is not there, then you can use lime juice also. The third thing you require is a bleach. Now, bleach is required to inhibit the growth of bacteria and fungi. Now, bleach ghar mein hoga ki nahi, ye important hai. There is something called as an ala bleach. It is easily available in North India. I don't know about the South. You definitely must be having some or the other kind of bleach available. This is the same bleach that is used in laundries or while washing white clothes. Your mom must be knowing it. You can take that bleach. You just require a spoonful of that liquid. So this is the requirement for your project. And all these materials that I'm talking about is easily available at home. Right? So all the best with the project. Now, this is how you are going to do the project. Uh, there's one more. Uh, I've also mentioned Sprite or Limca. This is a reason why are we using Sprite or Limca? Uh, Sprite and Limca both have got sugar in them and they also have got acid in them. So your acid and sugar both can be sufficed by Sprite or Limca. So you might find people using some amount of Sprite or Limca in their flower vase for the flowers to last longer. Now coming to the procedure. Now we need to study the wilting, that is flowers girne ne chahiye na, the wilting of flowers with different chemicals. Now to also we will study the effect of sunlight on the wilting of the cut flowers. Okay. Now the experimental setup. I've just drawn a diagram for you people to have a look at. Okay. So these are the diagrammatic illustration. You will take one, two, three, four, five, and six flower vases will be required by you. If you don't have these many flower vases, not to worry. Please use your steel glass at home. Can be used as a flower vase, okay? Uh, a long steel glass, preferably. Now, you will require your flower stalk. So you put your, I have put some red colored flower stalks in them. In the first experiment, use only fresh water. In the second experiment, you can use fresh water with half a spoon of sugar. In the third, you will use fresh water with half a spoon of sugar, no, so half a spoon of lemon juice and also half a spoon of sugar. So two things in this. In this case, you have just added one chemical compound that is your energy provider. In the second, you are adding the acidic medium as well as the energy provider. The acidic medium is required to cause faster water movement faster absorption of water. The third experiment is this. In the fourth setup, you will again take fresh water, half a spoon of sugar, vinegar or lime juice. That's up to you. Any acidifier can be used. And one spoon of bleach, the solution, bleaching solution, which is available in the market. If you have a powder bleach, then you could use two pinches of powder bleach. Okay. Then the the fifth experiment setup, I want to see the effect of sunlight. So please use a transparent glass. Okay. Rest everything is same as experiment number four. But the transparent glass, mein you need to add sugar as well as vinegar, same amount, and bleach once. Fine. Now, the last experiment is just to check on it is I have used 50% would be water and 50% would be Sprite or Lemka. 
do not use coke or orange drink because they have their own colors which could affect the um, building of the class. Now, this is your experimental setup. Please take pictures in the beginning when you start the project. This experiment number five can be placed near the window so that there is sunlight in it and we can see its effect. Now, moving ahead. The observations. Now, what exactly do you need to do? You will be taking pictures of the experimental setup twice a day, one morning and one evening for seven days. So you should have at least 14 pictures to attach to your project file. You will record the changes in terms of number of flowers which have gone wilted in the observation table. So you will make an observation table where you would write experiment 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and the number of flowers wilted, whatever it is, 1, 2, 3. So please see that your flower stock at least has 5 to 7 flowers in it. Okay, otherwise your observation will not be good one. Now note the effectiveness of cold drink as a flower preservative. Now you need to compare. The conclusion is the best flower food on the basis of your experiment is what you will analyze. Whichever takes longer time to wilt, just make flowers zada de tak fresh right there, is your flower food which is the best. The precautions that you need to take is use the stocks of the same flower. Don't change the flower. You require five experiments, use five stocks. If you're doing six experiments, use six stocks, but they should be of the same flower. When you cut the flower, please cut it at an angle of 45. Let's say this is your flower stock. And this is your, let's say, gladiolus flower stock. So when you cut it to put it into the flower base, see to it that it is cut like this at an angle of 45. Uh, the part that you are dipping into water should not have any leaves in it because the leaves will degrade and will give you errors in your experiment. Okay, that is all. This can be a data-based project for your chemistry class 12 CBSC. All the best. Of course, this can also be your biology project. So this is one project which can go for biology and chemistry. Only make a duplicate project file and submit it to both your teachers of chemistry and biology separately. Fine. I hope I have solved a problem for some of you who are at home, are in no position to move out, can not go to the chemistry lab for sure, can definitely procure these material and do the project report. Okay, fine. All the best. Please wait for the next video. I still have two more to do for the project that I could think that you could do that from your home. Fine. I hope that you are liking the videos and are able to handle chemistry from home in these times. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Wish you all the best in life.